Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is my first video. Uh, it's Moment I Jink Guy. You can just call me Jink Guy. Um, so, a little quick summary about myself if you didn't read the description for my channel. Um, I've been playing Digimon since like set 1.5, set 2 around there. Uh, my first deck was um, uh, Rust Tyranomon, and that deck's pretty trash back then. Pretty trash. It only sent me away from the game because, like, I was like, hey, he looks really cool, so I want to use him. Uh, but now I've been playing the game pretty consistently because I know the game, I think the game came out around like COVID time and the sets were being super delayed because of that. So I I can't blame Bandai for that, but they do have a tendency of delaying their stuff. Uh, hopefully the quality is okay using him, my camera, so hopefully it's not too, too bad. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, seeing my mat, uh, I did go to Nats. I'm talking about my little Nat experience too. Nats was a lot of fun. Um, I never thought I'd be able to uh, plan it alone, alone, get my invite for nationals. Um, I entered a, a shop tournament uh, for invites just because like, I, I literally just wanted the pack. Um, but I went all the way. Uh, I played Cross Art back then when it was broken, when X3, when X4 was at, was at 4. So the swing 60 to swing is just, just aggro as heck. I was going to take that to Nats. Um, but I wanted to take something else. Like for San Diego, I took a uh, green uh, control um, Shivamon uh, for San Diego for regionals, and I also took green again for uh, Nats to draw some people off. Um, I did pretty bad. I dropped up around. I dropped up around four. Uh, round one was against Grandis. Almost won, but my my boss card whipped completely, and that literally drew the game for me. Game two, I won against Black War, which I was like super happy about because that's like the best deck in the game right now. <laughs> Uh, game three, I got bonked and like, like um, literally like four minutes. I tell everybody four minutes against uh, uh, War Grandma X. So just pure red, just just shock on my security all the way straight down. Uh, round four was against um Melga, um Metric War One X antibody. Uh, I would have won that game. Sad. That's only that's the only sad part. I would have won that game because I was all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna the setup. Two blockers, two big blockers that he can't deal with. I was like, my board was enormous. I probably had at least 12 Digimon on my board, so it was like, he can't bounce everything back. And Melga bounces the lowest level, so it's like, it's perfectly fine. Went to zero memory. Um, you know, I was like, hey, I need to swing at security so I can establish blockers. I hit into an X antibody and I lost the game down to that. That was really upsetting. All right, so we took we took green. Um, don't know why. I don't know how to zoom in too much. Um, but anywho, uh, so this is the egg, uh, Tanamon, uh, very, very good, good egg. Uh, so its effect is when you play a green tamer, you get to draw a card and that's it. Very simple. You play a green tamer, you draw a card once per turn. So if you have multiple of these, multiple of these out, which this egg does, it's very, very simple. All right. So we're going to start with the rookies first. Uh, so we were playing, thanks to my friend for letting me borrow the alt arts. Uh, four rank Goromons. Uh, and Goromon is very good. It's literally just a uh, uh, egg at the body. So when you play a green tamer, um, you draw a card. And the inherit is when a, when the opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, you get to draw a card. And that's during the opponent's turn, I believe. Oh, no, no, your turn, your turn. So uh, how that works too is like, let's say you attack and they block, their Digimon becomes suspended, so you get to draw a card off on Goromon. Um, that's very something it, it didn't happen once it happened once at it once once against the black war player uh for round two uh he blocked my attack and i was like oh i gotta draw it because it triggered because it just says uh when an opponent's digimon becomes suspended you get to draw a card it doesn't say like when you suspend a digimon by their effect you got you gotta draw a card let me see it when, when an opponent's digimon becomes suspended draw a card um and it's very easy to get these out on the board <laughs> move those to the side Hopefully the yeah like I said, hopefully it's fine. I'm using like, a, a really like pretty pretty webcam. Uh, so we got the uh, the art gallery uh, Terrier Mons. Yeah, Terrier Mon is my favorite Digimon. Um, so I did not run any of the memory blockers. I was debating about taking out one, but I had a lot of games where I would have been able to extend my plays more if I just had that one out on the field because it, it's card it's card games. Like I play, I know I don't play like seven card games. Um, it's like, oh, you're going to run one of it, you're going to see it, but you're not going to see anything else. <laughs> um, so uh, this Terry Mon is from uh, EX2, I believe. 
EX3. Is it EX3? Uh, yeah, EX3. Um, so people don't get confused about the artwork. Um, so when you play a green tamer, you gain a memory. Um, so that's really good because this deck does like to um, produce um, and spit out tamers for free. So essentially, all your tamers cost m much less. Uh, hopefully, that little notification didn't pop up. Uh, the inherit doesn't really matter too much. It rarely goes off. Is um, during your turn when one of your opponents' digital becomes suspended, it gets plus two k. Uh, she becomes suspended. Yeah. So yeah, that effect didn't really like come up a lot. Um, there aren't too many things in the deck that suspend uh, my opponent's Digimon for this green deck, ironically. Um, so like, like I said, this also works if they block, they become suspended, you get plus 2k power. The opponent thinks like, oh hey, we're gonna crash, like not Psyche Dot, plus 2k power, you cry. Alright, next off, so we were only playing um, for a 11, um, 11 rookies. And ironically, I see a lot. I saw a lot of rookies, but there's also, there's also a few games where I thought I lost because I wasn't seeing like 1 level 4, 1 level 5. Uh, we we're playing three um, uh, Agumons. Uh, this is from BT11. Uh, I always, I always, I always call him Taiga because I said like, oh look, Taiga's on the picture. Uh, so his effect is on play. Um, look at the top four cards for a tamer, any tamers regardless of color. Uh, add it to your hand and you put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, and the hair is the most amazing part about it. The inherit is you can't read it from here, uh, but the inherit is during your turn. Um, while you have a tamer in play, plus 2k power. So it's super nice, no condition, no condition. It's like, oh, if you have a tamer out, and then like when this card attacks, plus 2k power. It's like, nope, just 2k power, um, which is really good if you have like multiples out. And like, let's say you hit into a Crimson Blaze or something, uh, and you have your level 4 out who's a 5k. It's like, oh, I have a tamer out. He's 7k. Your Crimson Blaze doesn't hit it. So it's just, it's just very, very nice. All right, so those are the rookies. If you play 11... 11 rookies. And also, like I said, uh, Rustar Manor was, was my first deck, so um, I always, I've, I've always just stuck the green so much. Uh, next, we were playing, speaking of Tyranomon, uh, we walked to my level 4s. Uh, we were playing 4 Tyranomon. This card is MVP. This is like your god mod of the deck for Mastamon. Um, so his effect is on play or when ditch evolving. Uh, you can play a three cost tamer uh, from your hand without playing the memory cost. So this is like uh, one of the first cards that um you can play for free. Uh, only downside he does cost her to Evo, but you still don't really care about that. Uh, the inherit is the, ex the exact same thing as Agumon. Uh, uh, during your turn, while you have a tamer in play, you get plus two K power. So just this and that is already four K power above, which is completely insane. Uh, next, we run two Ninjamon. So I am debating about taking some other cards out for. Uh, it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's. I don't know if it's a Ninjamon or Katagimon or something. But it's also level four. Um, but he's a uh, green purple. Uh, the inherit is just uh, retaliation. I forgot if it's just during my turn or your turn. I need to double check on that. Because um, if it is, or, or if it's altered, if it's altered, that's that's great. Um, so uh, Ninjamon's effect is when you play a tamer, you get to suspend one of your Digimon. So this is one of the few cards that suspends um, opponent's Digimons in my deck. Um, <coughs> very good card. Uh, it, I only went two, but I, I do see it a lot because this deck draws a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like just because of these alone, having multiples of, and I'll show you later on how you can get multiples in the field. Uh, so very, very good card. Uh, five cost, five cost. Um, no, you usually don't have to worry about like when you play level four pfft, by giving them so much memory. Cause like I said, this card, uh, Tyranomon, think of it as, as, as like your god on Cause when you play this card and you have the uh, three cost in your hand, which I'll get to later, um, it like sets you ahead so much. All right, next we have, oh, oh, these are the wrong order. Uh, two copper Terrymon, it's just a, a blocker. Uh, evil for one, I wish these were the four ones. Um, 1k blocker when you attack, you lose to memory. Uh, so like this and this, busted combination. You're seven, you're you're seven k for just sitting there. You have a tamer up. You're seven k. It's amazing. It's only during your turn, but it's, like I said, you're you're able to dodge all the bullets. Like oh, delete something with like six thousand or minus six thousand DP to something. Um, you can literally survive just because you have a tamer in play. This is just blockers. And then we have two of my one ofs, which I these are the ones I might take out for the um the other one has retaliation. 
we have one Tortamon. Um, originally, I was going to run four, but I'm, I'm glad I kept it on one. Uh, this is very good because uh, the Inherit is, when attacking, you can reveal a green Digimon in your hand. Oh, you already see this. Ah, uh, Gargamon. Um, reveal one green Digimon in your hand, put it on top of your deck. This Digimon gets plus 3,000 power uh, until the end of turn. And what's really nice about this, too, is you're able to stack your deck, and it works as one of the dual teamers that I run in here. So one Tortamon, like, and the key's only, he's only a 4-cost. So hard playing, hard playing any of the 4s in this deck, except for Cup of Terry, because he's a 6-cost, uh, is perfectly, like, it doesn't feel bad. And then for the last one we run, um, is one Gargomon. This card has come in clutch so many times. Uh, so his Inherit is an Inherit. His um, ability is, uh, during your turn, when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon, if you have a green Tamer in play, reduce the cost by one. So it doesn't matter what color goes on top of him, obviously, as long as you can evolve over green. Um, it is, it's going to reduce the cost by one as long as you have a green Tamer in play. Because I'll, I'll read the effect for you too. Uh, during your turn, uh, when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a green Tamer in play, reduce the dig Digivolution cost by one. So it's, it's very, very good. Essentially, any level 5 that goes on top of it costs 1 less to Digivolve. And the Inherit is just like the... Um, eh, where is it? Uh, the Terriermon is... Uh, when I deploy the Digimon becomes suspended, plus 2k power. It's a very, very good card. Uh, came up a lot. And it just like... This deck's about like just playing things for cheap, basically. Now we're going to get on to the level 6s. What are they doing? Okay. And what are these? I'm done. By level 5. <laughs> uh, so we were playing 4 Pangeamon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, so this card is very strong. Vicar's MVP over Gargomon. It only costs 2 to evolve. Uh, so his when digivolving skill is... Um, when digivolving, you may play a green or blue tamer with a play cost of 4 from your hand without playing, that, without playing its cost. So this uh, this allows you to play your memory tamers for free. Any of the four cost tamers in your hand for free. The three cost tamers for free. Any tamer in the deck that I play, you get to you get to play for free just from digivolving, and that like it's it's just it sets you ahead so much. Uh, the uh the first effect is I think it's always treated as a Leomon, I think. Yeah, yeah. This card digivolving is also treated as having Leomon in its name, but that part doesn't matter. It's just a one digivolving effect, and it's just really strong. And the inherit's really good too. So the inherit is when you play a Digimon by an effect. Um, you can give one of your Digimon's rush. It does not have to be the Digimon that it was played by the effect because of how it's worded. It says, your turn, once per turn. When you play another Digimon by an effect, one of your Digimon gains rush for the turn. And that's the important part. Um, it says gains rush for the turn, which means so even if you evil on top of it, that Digimon can still attack. It's not like um, Serbius on World Mode where he inherently has rush by himself. So let's say you put... You have uh, Warwolf uh, Servers Mana, you play the Warwolf mode, you play it, that can swing, and then you Evo Minerva Mon on top of it. And that Minerva Mon cannot swing because it doesn't have Rush. The Warwolf one has Rush, but he doesn't have Rush. So that's what's really strong about this too. Uh, so very, very good card. Uh, it's very key. Uh, the next card, which is really good, my friends like to call it Legal Stacking, <laughs> is for Mami Mon. So this card can evolve over uh, black or green. Uh, literally the only downside is that I do wish he was green, just for the sheer fact that, um, uh, he's black, messes up one of the, uh, two of the tamers, three of the tamers in the deck. Um, so his skill is when digivolving or on play. So sometimes, like, I've, I've, I've won a good amount of games where I just, like, oh, my first turn, I have a rookie, I don't, I don't have a four, just play this. It's a, it's a hit or whiff, um, but at the same time, even if it whiffs a tamer, um, you're stacking your deck, so let me get on to that. So its effect is on player when digivolving. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Reveal a tamer you you, you find there and play it for free without paying its cost. That's what that's the uh, really good part. I had this game against a Melga player. Um, I was I, I already played like four tamers for free already, and I was like, oh, evil and the Mammon. I get to look at the top five cards for a tamer. He's like, and it was your hand, right? I was like, no, I get to play it. And then no, I already did the effect the previous turn. I played it, and he tried moving the memory gauge um, four times. Like, no, 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 it's free. Um, and then after that, you can um, 
place the remaining cards on the top or bottom of your deck in any order that you like. So you can you can um, control your draws, which is super nice. You can, like I said, you can you can, you're able to legally stack your deck with this card. Uh, and also another thing too about this, and the I, I didn't mention it. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where did it go? I oh, hear it. I'm done. Um, so this combination with the egg, it, as long as the egg's in the stack, if you play this. You play a tamer, you draw a card. You go into this, you play a tamer, you draw a card. You go into this, you, you hit a tamer, you get to draw a card. Because uh, every tamer the deck is green. So very, very good. Uh, I'll read this effect board forward though, just so you guys can know. On play when digivolving. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. You may play one tamer card with a play cost of four or less from like them without playing the cost. Uh, then you place uh, the rest of the cards on the top or bottom of the deck in any order. And his inherit is very, very good as well. His inherit is when you play a Digimon by an effect, one of your Digimon, seemingly worded as the Pangeomon, is one of your Digimon gains blocker till the end of your opponent's turn. Which is super, super strong. And I'll read that too. Your turn once per turn. When you play another Digimon by an effect, one of your Digimon gains blocker until end of turn. Until end of your opponent's turn. So very, very strong. Okay, now we are going to go on to the last two fives. Um, only reason I went two of these is because he costs four to evolve, and so you don't really get two. He's like he he is like the worst one to cost wise. Effect, effects amazing cost wise because he costs four. Um, because it's very easy to memory choke your opponent if they don't have a memory tamer out. Uh, so his effect is when when digivolving on play, um, for every green or black tamer that you have. You can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, but um, and then you can choose one of your dig opponent's Digimon, and that Digimon does not unsuspend next turn. So he has to rest a lot of Digimon. So if they had multiple blockers, you can rest all the blockers, and then choose one of them so it doesn't unsuspend. Um, and that's all he does. And the nice thing about him too, uh, even if they already have a suspended Digimon, you can hit that Digimon because of the way I have the how it's worded. Because it says, when Digimon on play for each green or black tamer you have in play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And then it's period. And then it says, then one of your opponent's suspended Digimon can't unsuspend during your opponent's exit suspend phase. So, so it's a, the only, it's a it's a stun, but not like a hard stun. The only hard stun in the game right now, like currently I think is just a Samadhi Santi. That card specifically says it could not unsuspend at all. Like no effects are unsuspended. Uh, and then the inherit's really good too. This is where like the uh, the blocker part for this comes out. Is all turns um, when this Digimon deletes the uh, opponent's Digimon by battle and survives, you trash the top card of their security. So the card's very very good. Now on to the sixes. So we have the MVP of the deck. We have four Digimon. All right. So uh, his effect is when Digivolving. Re reveal the top three cards of your deck. Uh, reveal a tamer that you find there, and you play for free. And then you can put the, the rest of the cards on the top or bottom of the deck in the order. So an ideal combo is, let's say you hit this and you hit two tamers. So uh, you play this. Um, it's like okay, you hit one tamer, you put that tamer to the bottom of the deck, to the bottom, uh, the fourth card on top of the deck from the bottom. And so you draw a card off the Tanamon, because if it's there, you're going to draw a card. So those three cards, and let's say next turn, you're going to draw for turn. And then you evil into this, you still draw, that Tamer is still there. So when you do the effect, you're going to, you're guaranteed to hit that Tamer. To get another Tamer on, on, in the game for free. And uh, he has another effect, which is like this giant text right here. <laughs> is uh, when attacking, um, for every green, or, green and or black Tamer you have in play, you can reveal that many cards on the top of your deck. And play uh, black or green Digimon, where the play cost can add up to 10. So, you can play this. It plays anything in the deck that isn't a level 6, essentially. So, you can play that. There you go, 7. Then you can play a rookie. Or if you hit 3 rookies, which has to be 4, you play 3 rookies for free. Which is super nice. Um, and also, you get on-play effects, too. So I did, and Which is really, really, really good. So, let's say you hit this. You you just hit you literally just hit an eight cost card, 
for free, you're resting and stunning one of their one of their guys. Um, play Mammon, stack your deck again. Uh, playing Metal Tyrannomon, you're you can play you get the on play you can play another three cost turn for your free. Play a, a blocker and a rookie. You can literally give the rookie blocker, give him rush for no, for no reason, but regardless, it's still has blocker. Or give this blocker so when you evil on top of it, that card's bigger and has blocker. So Jigimon is the MVP. This is the card I whiffed against my first round for against Granis. I swung, had three tamers, I hit two tamers and an option, and I, I, I was like, in my head, I lost. <laughs> uh, MVP of the deck. A lot of people were not expecting this deck uh, to be there. Uh, another very, very good card is uh, Restoranomon. Uh, so his effect is when his Digimon would Digivolve, for each green or green and or black tamer you have in play, you reduce its digi evolution cost by one. <laughs> so it costs five. So if you have four tamers, it costs one. If you have five tamers, it costs it's fr you're evil into level six for free. And his effect is all turns. Um, when this Digimon leads a Digimon in battle and survives, uh, he unsuspends. So the little combo is. Um, so let's say this is the stack. You have the, the Mama and the Digimon. You swing, you hit this, um, you activate this. Mama triggers uh, ability triggers since you you, have a, you play the Digimon by an effect. Um, give this blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. Suspend something, yada yada. You evil into this. Now you have a 13k blocker that unsuspends uh, during their turn. And usually people don't really ask what cards do even though it's like hey it's right there you can pick it up so you get you block all right trash cover security unsuspend you still you still have another 13k block the trashing is must return because that'd be broken if it wasn't and so that's all he does and he's just a 13k block but i only run two of it and then next my little spice card that which threw everybody um off guard is the ex3 uh mega gargomon um so i thought about him because i'm like oh this like brings out a lot of teamers for free this is a very long video, by the way. 22 minutes. <laughs> um, uh, so when digivolving, for each green tamer you have in play, uh, you can suspend one of your opponent. You can, you can suspend your opponent's Digimon, and then those Digimon don't unsuspend. So the only downside to him is, like, let's say your opponent has a suspended uh, Jasmon GX, but it's already suspended. But they have, like, five sister mods. You can suspend... All five of the sister mons. Those sister mons won't unsuspend, but the just pawn will unsuspend because it wasn't suspended by his effect because of how it's worded. Uh, but his, his other effect is, although he costs five to Evo, both in this deck, that like rarely happens, um, or you're you're gonna uh, do it for five. And then his one attacking is when attacking, uh, you are able to return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon back to the hand, whatever hit, equal to his DP or less. So he's, he's a 13k body, uh, but in this deck, he can reach up really, really high. All right, we're going to go on to the Tamers first, and then the option, because I don't have two options. So the MVP of the deck, the one that uh, Tyranimon plays for free, is Taiga. So Taiga's effect is all turns, all your Digimon get plus 1,000 power, which is amazing. It just... just Everybody gets a thousand. Makes him 14k. He had anything that's 14k. And so his effect is when one of your green Digimon would Digivolve into a level 5 or higher. So the only thing that this thing cares about is the level 4. The level 4 or the level 5. If it's green. Because if it's not green, you can't do it. This is why um, uh, Mamimon is. I wish it was green. Because uh, since um, he's black, you cannot use Taiga for his effect. Which sucks really bad. Um, so yeah, so when you Digimon into a Digimon, uh, when you're level 4 Digimon into a 5 or higher, as long as the level 4 is green, which they're all green, uh, or the 5, you can tap them to reduce the cost. So let's say you have um, uh, the Gargomon and this out. You tap, you just tap 1. It costs 1 to evil that, that level 5. And if you, if you have multiples out, it costs less, it costs three less, so it's essentially free. It's just it's just value throughout the board. Uh, so very very good card. M MVP of the deck. Uh, next we play two Mimis. Everyone knows what Mimi does. Um, it's a memory setter. It sets a memory to three. Uh, the, at the start of your turn. 
Um, if you have a level five or higher green Digimon out, that's the reason why it doesn't work with that too. It happened to be once. I'm like, oh right, I can't do it. Um, if you have a level five or higher green Digimon, you can tap her to hatch an egg, or you can tap her to promote the egg. And that egg will, will, will not have so many sickness because it left the racing area. Next, we have two of the um, tag team tamers, uh, Izzy Mimi. Uh, so Izzy Mimi is start of turn is if your opponent has to suspend a Digimon. It's very easy if they attack or it doesn't die. When it doesn't die, you're like, yes. Um, you get two memory. So you go, you go to three, you go to five, and then six, seven. And then the effect is when one of your green Digimon attacks, you can tap it to reveal the top three cards of your deck. To, and if there's a level six, evil into the level six for free. This is where the Tortomon, this is where the Digimon, this is where the uh, Mamimon come into play where you're able to illegally stack your deck so you know what's on top that's like oh hey i went to Digimon. i hit a Digimon. i have a level i have another level five i'm gonna attack with a level five hit the Digimon, and then just just keep it going uh we have run one ken davis he has another memory setter um came in clutch a lot in that's um as a memory setter as well so sorry your turn if your memory is one or less you go to three um and then when, when one of your green digimon deletes the digimon's Green or blue Digimon, but the blue doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, green Digimon leads an opponent's Digimon by battle and it survives. You can tap him to get a memory. Uh, next, the spicy one that my friend told me about, really good. She told me about it because it came up a lot, is the uh, dual tamer uh, Ken Davis or Davis Ken. Um, start of your main phase. So after you hatch or after you promote, if you have a green Digimon in play, you gain one memory. The blue part doesn't matter. Um, so they said, doesn't work with this. Uh, and then his other effect is when you Digimon to one of, uh, when you Digimon to a Digimon that has uh, two colors, you can suspend it to unsuspend. And though this thing does not care about what colors they are, so I had a game where I won where I made the guy pretty salty. Um, I went into the Metal Tyrannomon, and I was like, I have game, but it has to live. But I had um two tigers on. I'm like, hey, it's gonna be seven k. So I swing. I'm like, cool. Uh, I tap two of the Tigers to reduce uh, Metal Tyranomon uh, Metal by two. I evil for two. I tap the Ken Davis and I unsuspend. He picks up the card and then he throws it at me because he, like, he was like he's, he lost game one because of that. <laughs> uh, so very very good start. Um, yeah, so I'm playing um, seven level sixes and ten level fives. And we were playing 10 tamers, uh, 10 tamers, I believe. Uh, let me see, five, yeah, 10 tamers. I wasn't originally running a, a regular Davis uh, Ultimoya, but the fact that it's blue, it made a lot of my searches whiff a lot. And then the only two options we play is one, uh, Grand Assault, very good card, uh, came up a lot. It wasn't secured a lot, too. <laughs> um, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and then uh, choose one of their suspended Digimon and put it to the bottom of the deck. Uh, they have two or more suspended Digimon, you reduce the play cost of this by two. So instead of eight, it costs six. And then one uh, HPD, Hate of Potential Discovery, we all know what this does. Suspend one of your Digimon, one of your green Digimon with Digivolve. Uh, the next time with Digivolve is to reduce it by five. So this is a great that one for a reason. So that was the deck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know the video was a bit long, but they're not all going to be this long. Um, just because I was talking about like the beginning, about like that sphere and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna actually do two deck profiles tonight. With uh, what I have next. But yeah, stay tuned. Welcome to the channel, and I really hope you guys enjoyed.